Goodwill Outlet shopping haul. I bought 25 pounds at our Goodwill Outlet. You pay by the pound. I ended up paying, I think $47 is what my total was for everything. One item will pay completely for the whole entire haul and everything else is profit. It's like free money. That's how my girl math brain works. Starting off strong. Um, I was so excited to find this. Have you ever found one of these? This is the second time I have found this vintage retro phone, Saved by the Bell vibes. Um, this sells super fast. It sells for a lot of money. I don't know what people are doing with weird things. We don't ask questions. We just get stuff to make money, right? Of course, I brought home some cowboys. These, I was so excited. They were, someone just tossed them to the side. They did not want them. I was excited because these are Lucchese boots. I used to say Lucchese's, but it's Lucchese's in case you don't know how to pronounce that. They just need to get cleaned, buffed up, get some good leather conditioner. I'll probably apply some leather um, coloring back to it to make them look good. And these are gonna sell great. Cowboy that I got were these gorgeous white ones, which look brand new. They don't look like they have ever been worn. And even though these are not real leather, the style of them will absolutely sell. White, tall cowboy boots go super fast on all of my platforms. They are going to sell, especially Beyonce coming out with her like cowboy album. Definitely helps your cowboy reselling stuff for sure. When Taylor Swift is touring over here in the United States, cowboy boots go for her shows as well. It's um, concert seasons coming up, festivals. People are outdoors, grab your cowboy boots. All right, some shoes that I buy based on style and not brand that I love to pick up. Um, they have always sold super well for me and that is gonna be a classic Mary Jane. If you can find a heel on it, I think that's even better, a platform Mary Jane. This style does so well. Another style of boot, anything with the square toe does so good. Square toe, a platform, a chunky block heel boot. These are just really cool. These are gonna sell really well. I'm guessing um, they're gonna go on Depop, but another style that I love is a this platform, chunky, like moto biker looking type of boot. These are not real leather, but they are still gonna sell based on the title and description that I write. It drives traffic to my listings. These are absolutely going to sell. Another style of boot that I always pick up and it always sells really quick are Minnetonka suede boots in the booty ankle size or the taller ones the taller ones do sell better for me this is definitely also using keywords and style tags to drive traffic to your listing these that are look really weird have you ever seen these grab these they sell super fast these are climbing shoes they're actually pretty expensive brand new you sell super fast they're in great condition just always make sure you're checking the rubber seam that it's still good and intact but they sell super fast my favorite brands to resell is always going to be Converse. It always ranks in our top selling brands that we sell in our shoes. Classic black, but what's special about these, these are the collaboration with Jack Purcell by Converse. Um, I can get usually get a little bit more money. They have like a cork insole on these, so definitely look out for your Converse sneakers. Jeans that I was really excited about that... Um, Personally, it is not my style, but that is not why you buy. Do not buy based on what your style is. You buy based on what sells. So that comes with doing your research before you buy. These are Affliction jeans, which is very noticeable. They usually have a pretty big graphic on the back of them. There's the style tag. This pair of jeans is gonna pay for my entire haul, which is, I'm excited about one item, covers the cost of all of my goods. That's what you want. Another item that I usually look out for is ski gear. It always sells really well, especially even in kids and adults. I don't buy a lot of kids stuff. It's just harder to sell for me for whatever reason. But if I can buy ski gear in kids, and this is a great brand to pick up in adults or kids, Obermeyer is a really good brand. Always make sure you are checking for any holes, tears that you have, and always check around the edges on the pant leg to make sure it still looks good. Okay, and this item, I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it for me or actually sell it. I got it because I wanted, I am a sucker for sweaters. I own more sweaters in my wardrobe than any other piece of clothing. I don't know why. We live in Austin, Texas, where you literally burn most of the year. <laughs> 
but I love a good sweater, okay? This is vintage Liz Claiborne. Another kind of niche clothing item that I love to look out for is Victoria's Secrets. This is a 100% silk little gown, and these always sell really quickly for me. Very basic. The back of it is actually really beautiful. It has like this button all the way down. It's 100% silk. Make sure you are checking for any snags or anything like that. Those have been selling on Depop and Poshmark for me. Also really random were these pair of brand new Bomba socks. Have you ever worn these? These are so stinking comfortable. I'm actually keeping these for me. All right, that's all the randomness that I picked up. You can kind of see I don't sell in one particular niche at all. I'm going to sell whatever will make me money. And with that, that makes it way more fun for me. I love selling in multiple categories. If you want to learn our exact process on how we built our six-figure reselling business by selling all of these things, and we walk you through step-by-step -step how to set everything up from the very beginning to the very end, comment wild. I'll send you a link to grab our reseller guide and you get access to our private reseller group, which is pretty amazing. There's over 700 people in there that are so good about giving feedback and collaborating and lifting you up whenever you need it. Okay guys, thank you so much.